Um, my birthday happens to coincide with the 38th anniversary today of Minnesota Women's Press launch. So, yeah, I, I thought that was fun. Uh, uh, and I've always wanted an occasion to intersect the two, and I thought this is the time to do it. So we've all had a kind of a rough few years, and it's still a little rough out there, but it's also a great time to celebrate the awesomeness of, of some of the people that we have here in Minnesota. So the people in this room, the people you're going to see on the stage, the people you're going to see on the screen are all amazing and it is my privilege to, my job basically is to be able to connect with these people on a regular basis who are working to transform Minnesota into a more equitable and just and healthy society. Uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic job. I've been in that role now for four years, as many of you know. And this year, Minnesota Women's Press is focused on solutions. We're also kicking off the extension of our first-person narratives and our social justice reporting with Changemakers Alliance, which is focused on bringing those stories and solutions to life in solidarity with people around the state who care about making Minnesota a state that's more of a collective transformative space than one of individual transactions. You're going to hear more about that in a few minutes from uh, the legislators. Uh, we've got wonderful readers who kind of helped the magazine stay alive during the pandemic. Very, very grateful for the donors who stepped in and the subscribers who stepped in. Our subscriptions have gone up 62% since 2018. Yeah. <laughs> So um, now we're going to start this Changemakers Alliance membership, which is going to help us build storytelling projects. I very much believe that I've been in the industry now for several decades, and as I get towards that later end of my career, I realize what I really want to be doing is joining forces with the advocates, the grassroots organizers, and doing more that goes beyond storytelling into solutions. And a lot of that is because we see the same stories that we've been running in Minnesota Women's Press for 38 years related to gender-based violence and inequities and justice that really haven't been fixed. And we also know that it's women that are going to be collaborative leaders in that transformation. So Changemakers Alliance is designed to bring people together from around the state to, to build projects that focus on ways that we can tell stories and take action in ways that media should be part of. Um, we're starting with uh, stories related to healing trauma, conversations around healing trauma. You'll see a clip of that in a few minutes. And women in politics, it's a big year for women in politics, uh, as well as a project that's coming up for our June issue about community supportive housing. So yeah, you're going to hear from 11 women on the stage today. Each of them has five minutes to give us what we're calling an energy bolt that we're saying is part of our power hour, explaining their passions, their hopes, their fears, their joys, and the action steps that they would like for us to take with them. After that, we're going to have a group conversation with everybody in the room, something Changemakers Alliance has normally so far been able to do only online. Um, this is about what questions you have about what you've heard today, what passions you have that you would like to share, what action steps you wish to see, how we might be able to connect about making things happen instead of simply being aware of the needs and the stories that so many people have. So let us get the party started.